matcha latte. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, Lele. Lay -lay. It is 7.34. I've been up for about 10 minutes now, but I've just been laying down in my bed. I woke up with a headache. I think it's from the melatonin that I took the night before. So I'm about to get up and get ready to go to the store. Early morning. I didn't even eat anything. I probably should eat a rice cake or something. Mm -hmm. I'll see y'all later. Okay, y'all. I'm about to go into the store. Get a couple of things. I look so good. My skin looks so good. Let me not jinx it though. I need to get another camera battery. You know you can talk. You can still talk to me. You're not gonna say anything? I'm about to go and grab some kombucha. And I think I might get some sushi if they have it. I don't know, it's early in the morning. It's like nine o'clock, so they probably don't have it now. They probably just starting to prepare it. But I'm gonna grab me some kombucha and a green celery juice. I see they got kale chips. I really wanna try that. I'm gonna get these kale chips. I'm gonna get these and I really need to look at my list because I have a list. I wanted some carrots because I be wanting to eat carrots like chips instead of eating real chips. I don't know. Something to snack on. When I be need when I be wanting to snack or like chew on something. Y'all know us black have black people have a habit of when we bored, we like to eat. So at least if I'm bored and I'm eating, I can eat a healthy snack. Um, oh, and I want to get those frozen bananas that I be getting. Y'all know the chocolate bananas that I be getting. I'm going to get that. And I need some prune juice. I'm already on the aisle. Buy the prune juice. So let me look for that. Girl, the price of groceries is going up, y'all. I don't know if y'all been paying attention, but the price of groceries been been going up. I got this prune juice. This is four to five dollars. Like it don't make no sense. Um, I need to go to Walmart because I want to get some apples. And the Walmart, I mean the store I'm in right now, they don't have um. Y'all, I be getting the the black cherry the pure black cherry and it is now seven forty nine dollars and it used to be four forty nine dollars like i'm telling y'all the price is really crazy i like cherry juice does that make me weird i get this the celery juice it's really nasty but it's really good for you so i'm gonna get that and i'm gonna get my favorite which is kombucha y'all already probably know from my instagram i'm always posting kombucha today i'm gonna get the pomegranate so i'm gonna go over here and get the pomegranate kombucha i'm gonna get that and yeah i'm gonna get some blueberries they three for ten dollars Friends, about to get three of these, and I pretty much filled my basket up. I got the pure beet juice because beet juice is good for you. I got prune juice to help with my digestive system. I got the shots that I was telling y'all about. I got some Brazil nuts, some sunflower seeds. And my kale chips. I'm not getting no meat up in here. I already have meat at home. I'm just picking up like 
little knickknacks and stuff like stuff that was on my list i didn't really know what i was gonna get but i'm just getting stuff that's on my list right now um so yeah i'm about to get some pineapples yeah i'm about to give me a couple of shots too they have ginger cayenne i'm gonna get that and then they have one for energy it's called mango spinach I'm gonna get that. So I got these two. I'm about to put it in my basket. Really, it just seems like I'm getting juice, honestly. But I'm gonna get some more stuff. I don't know. Okay, y'all. I changed my mind. I am gonna get me while I'm here. They have salmon for like six dollars. So I'm gonna get two pieces of salmon while I'm up in here, and they just put them out so they fresh. Right here, this right there. But I'm just waiting on them to come bring it to me. And then I'm gonna head out of here. I'm not gonna be up in here too much longer because the longer I stay up here, the more stuff I'm gonna wanna buy, to be honest. I'm just get what it's on get what's on my list. Can I get two pieces of salmon? That one be No, I don't want them down there. Okay, well just give me another that one right there. That one right there on top. Mm -hmm. That one. Yeah, that's a nice size. That's all. Thank you. I'm about to get my bananas and I'm gonna head out of here. I have everything that I need in my basket. Oh, I'm gonna get some gushes because they was already right there, y'all, and they my guilty pleasure. I know I don't I'm not supposed to eat bad, but I be eating gushers. But I pretty much have everything that I need. Like I have my strawberries, my blueberries. My prune juice. I'm getting my Diana banana. Dark chocolate. They like 130 calories, but I don't care. They good as hell. I love them. So, getting And that's it, y'all. I need an air fryer. I need an air fryer, and I need a blender. That is what I want for Christmas. A air fryer, a blender, and a computer, y'all. A new computer. Um, a MacBook Pro with Final Cut Pro on it. <laughs> That's what I want. Because so. those are three things that I, I'm really use, like, for sure. Because I the, the secret to cooking, everybody in my generation tell me, is having an air fryer. They don't cook nothing anymore. They just put everything in the air fryer. That's what all my friends say. Oh, I want my mama. And she about to get a new phone. But, I don't know. They got a Starbucks next door. So, I'll probably go to Starbucks and give me a matcha latte. There. <laughs> <laughs> she's so tired of me vlogging y'all but they got this matcha latte on oh my god <laughs> look at her y'all oh my god but she wanted to hang with me today that's what's so crazy she called me and woke me up and asked me to go to <laughs> she said i used to act like her but now uh I'm not even dressed for real. I got all joggers exactly. and a little crop top. <laughs> but she mad because I ain't got my body on. Girl, people don't want you to change your life. But y'all, she called me this morning and woke me up asking me do I want to go to the store and all that to hang with her. And I've been running errands with her all day and it's been her errands. We didn't even get to run my errands for real. She's crazy. I'm about to get a matcha latte. And she I look so cute. When I came out the house, she was like, girl, who is that looking like Kim Kardashian? It's me. Don't I look good? No, really. It's giving very much Lori Harvey when they catch her going to her Pilates class in her lamb truck. My mama want me to show y'all the Starbucks thing over there. <laughs> she told me she want me to go sit at the Starbucks thing. I'm about to go over there in a second though, y'all, because I really do want to get me a matcha latte. <laughs> I'll be right back, y'all. I'll be right back. <laughs> when I say what? Matcha latte? I don't even know if matcha is matcha latte. Because I'm going to see more, bro. I can't even see What? Who are you on the phone with? Bro, I don't know. <laughs> I got 
to get a new phone. I do it with Shady. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't Yo, phone, but I don't she's really a comedian. She been in the back of my stuff all day, but not wanting to be bothered or y'all to see her. She's crazy, but been like really trying to hang me all day. They gonna tell me, girl, I'm not banging with you no more. I got bags, but I took my glasses off so y'all can see. This not about you right now. This about my face. Do you want my glasses on all day? It was. It's giving main character syndrome. They can't see you. The camera's on me. You heard? You got a who? A phone. Girl, she's so bucked up that she got this little phone. I'm dancing in these people's store. She oh, keeps shaking her ass in the fire, y'all. I just, I don't really get stuff up, so I'm not gonna lie. I'm a tea kind of girl. I don't really be drinking coffee. And I don't, um, be coming to Starbucks. But I want to start coming to Starbucks and I want to start drinking coffee more. But hey, Can I get a matcha latte? Can I get four shots of vanilla with vanilla foam? And can I get oat milk? Hey, anything else? That'll be all. What's your name, darling? Leia. Leia? Yes. Alright, Miss Leia. Okay. Nope, that is all. Yep. Alright, that's what we're Thank you. I was saying, y'all. I don't really be drinking coffee or getting lattes and stuff like that, but I've seen this drink, and technically it's not coffee, it's tea. And I've seen this drink, and I was like, I really want to try it. So here I am trying it since I'm waiting. I could drink this at past time while we wait at the T-Mobile for them to do whatever they have to do to her mom. No, ma'am. All right. Okay. Thank you. I hope it's good because I'm waiting on my um intro. Y'all know I didn't have an intro for my first video. I'm waiting on the person to um give me back with their pricing and stuff like that because I really need an intro. I'm gonna make it something simple though. So Y'all don't get to see it, but I just want to do pink on pink, something real simple, straight to the point. I don't really want to do the most. And I decided I'm not gonna do fashion beauty. Thank you. You too. I'm not gonna do fashion beauty and all that because. I don't want to box myself in. I want to be able to do whatever I want to do when it comes to my YouTube channel. So this, this is it. I had got oat milk instead of regular milk because oat milk is really good for you. And this is how she told me to get the drink. So that's how I got the drink, honestly. But like I was saying, I really don't want to box myself in when it comes to YouTube. So I'm not going to say... I'm not going to put um, fashion and beauty and stuff like that because I want to do a whole lot of stuff on my YouTube channel. I'm sorry, y'all. You really can't see me. Hold up, baby. I'm trying to make it where y'all can see me a good angle. Girl, this camera might fall face first. I don't know, it's very faulty. I know, I'm gonna let you use the phone. Get stand out right quick. I'm trying to take pictures. <laughs> My mom is so aggravated right now. But I'm aggravated with her because she is acting like a child. Like, she see I'm trying to be all... Yeah. Like, girl, this is not it's really I can't say what I was gonna say. But come on now, have some decor. Okay, come back and use the phone. <laughs> <laughs> she's sitting over there in the corner so mad by herself I really don't care she's acting like a child come get the phone it's very childish but yeah like I was saying Ooh, the wind almost took y'all down it's okay though this is very delicious Because it, um, because it 
because of the four pumps of vanilla. I really like it. Not me being a matcha girl. Tommy. Hello. Hi, I'm fine. Before I started the video, I wasted some of the powder on my goddamn little rug that I have in the bathroom. But that's fine. I'm about to put that rug right in the um, washing machine. I ain't even tripping off it. Quick wash it and then put it in dry, quick dry, and then voila. It's kind of wet, but that's fine. It's cool. I'm not really tripping. So, you see, let me look at y'all. Mm -mm. Why do this? Where? On my set. A 25 minute to a 30 minute timer. Uh, I don't really want to do head and do my forehead for real because I don't really want to fuck my edges up. I ain't even gonna stunt, they look so good. I'm gonna just do a little, 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 and like I could put cleanser. On my forehead. Okay. Um, but I'm about to set my timer and then I'm gonna have a little chat with y'all because I was talking to a friend of mine or an associate of mine on my spam Instagram and I wanted to bring it here I feel like that would be a, a cool little topic to talk about with you I'm gonna use this on my elbows and my underarms. When I'm when I hit the end button on this video, I'm gonna put that on my elbows and my underarms. Cause it really does help with the discoloration and whatnot. But yeah, earlier I was talking to someone, an associate of mine, on my spam account and we was just talking about how it is so hard to make friends in your 20s, especially when you move um, out, of, out of your hometown. And I was just telling her like, like about my experiences and I haven't had any bad experiences or anything but like it's kind of harder for me to make friends with people I work with because people I tend to work with have kids people I tend to work with are in like dead serious relationships married older you know stuff like that like I don't be meeting people that is my age or around my age and stuff like that like the people be well into their 30s or like even if they're in their 20s, they're just not on what I'm on. Like, I ain't gonna lie, from time to time, like, I don't really club anymore, but from, from time to time, I do want to go to the club, even if I'm not drinking or smoking hookah, but just fill a scene out or go to a nice little lounge and stuff like that. And those people don't have time for that. They got real shit going on, you know. But I don't know. It's just so hard for me to make friends because, for one, I'm really shy. Like, a lot of people don't know that I'm not outgoing I'm really to myself I'm shy I want I grew up an only child so I have that only child syndrome on the slick so I kind of beat to myself I gotta peep out the scene and little things just be turning me off when it comes to like female friendships and I guess that's kind of my fault that I don't be making friends on the slick like 
I'm kind of, I don't know, weird a little. Just, just, just a little. And nothing is wrong with that. I'm like, not the bad weird. The good weird, you know? And, I don't know, cultivating friendships in your 20s is just really hard. At least my experiences has been really hard. Like, I want to make friends with people that travel. And, like, my friends, they travel and stuff. Like, the friends that I have now, like... They're fucking awesome. I love my friends, but we don't live in the same hometown. And sometimes I just be wanting to, you know, go to the grocery store with my friend and go grocery shopping or go to the mall really quick or like go to Alta or just like run errands or like, oh girl, what you doing? You free for lunch or girl, what you doing this weekend and just stuff like that and just, you know, I don't know, have girl time, have girl talks. I feel like, you know, yes, my mother lives in the same state with me and my little sisters but sometimes i want to talk to somebody that's on my level like you know in my same mind frame and my same age bracket and stuff like that and i don't have that and in you know where i'm at i don't have that in the state that i live in and i don't know like it doesn't i don't want to be in a friend group like it doesn't have to be a group of friends like i can have friends over there friends over there it really doesn't matter but i do like want a genuine friend that lives in the same city and state as me or like genuine friends that live in the same state as me you know like where we could pop up on each other and you know drink wine if i'm in a mood to drink wine or just gossip or talk about fashion talk about boys like yeah you could do that over the phone but it just don't hit the same like when you're in person with a person and y'all just having conversation and stuff like that and a lot of people in my generation like i'm not trying to shit on nobody or like talk like that but a lot of people in my generation especially women make friends off of instagram aesthetics and off of looks to what you wear who you surround yourself around like and that's not a bad thing but it's a little shallow and you know i'm not as shallow as people think you know what I'm saying? And I don't make friends off of how many followers somebody got. I don't make friends off of, you know, who somebody is dating and stuff like that. Like, I like, you know, real shit. I'm, I'm a real woman. Like, so I look for stuff like honesty and loyalty and fun and positive like you know i don't want to be friends with somebody because a lot of people like a lot of girls in my generation when they have a miscommunication they don't know how to communicate they tend to brush it under the rug or they go back and tell the other friend that they have a problem with you instead of coming to you like nobody don't really know how to communicate in our generation and like that's hard for me because i grew up on communicating like me and my mama always had a open dialogue when it comes to communication i could say literally how i feel like i grew up on my mama apologizing to me me expressing my feelings and like having a good re and open relationship with a woman and saying how i feel not disrespectfully but saying how i feel without hurting somebody's feelings and a lot of women just aren't like that and a lot of women make slick shots you know, when they're not feeling something that you had said that might upset them or they, like I said, go back and tell their friends and then their friends looking at you sideways. And another thing is I'm very private. I'm very secretive. I'm an open book. If you ask me, I might tell you or I might lie. I'm not going to lie right now. But for the most part, I'm an open book. I don't mind answering questions or telling people, you know, what it is or whatever. But I don't want nobody going back and telling their friend stuff about me or their friend asking questions about me or like or about my dating life or about my finances and stuff like that. And and girls do that. Like girls will be make friends with your friends to see what you got going on or ask questions about try to pick them and ask questions about them it just be all type of shifty stuff going on like in this generation and i'm like really private i'm not with the bullshit i'm not with the drama i don't like to fight i don't want to fight i don't want to put myself in a situation like that because a situation like that is only going to end up to violence to me and i don't want to be put in a situation like that like i'm a lady and 
Like, I be noticing, like, girls, sometimes they'll fall out and maybe one party is more mad than the other party. So, they'll get to subtweeting. They'll get to exposing each other, posting pictures of each other's houses and underwear and all that kind of stuff. Like, screenshots and, oh, you was messing with this one and you slept with this with that one and the third. I, I don't have time for that. And then I, you just have to factor in all that. Like, you can't even tell your friends certain stuff because you got to worry about, oh, what if one day we end up not being cool? Or what if she might go back and say this to somebody? Or, like, you know what I'm saying? And I just hate not being open and real. Like, or not being vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? I like to be comfortable with the people that I surround myself with. I want to be able to be vulnerable. I want to be able to come to you and vent. I want to be able to come to you and cry. Like, you know what I'm saying? Some stuff, a lot of stuff, I'm not going to share because I'm just not like that. But if I do want to share stuff with my friend, I want to know that it's between me and my friend and it's a safe space and vice versa. And, you know, nobody just had even... I'm not even going to get into that topic, but like even men nowadays, like just be pillow talking and going back saying stuff and you just, you just don't know who to trust. And that's, that's just why it just makes it so much harder to be friends with people and especially friends with people that you don't know or you meet out of town because you don't know these motherfuckers. You don't know nobody who know these motherfuckers and you don't know what type of person it is. You learn as you go. And I think that's the scariest. Like for me, that's the, just the scariest thing. You know, because I, I, when I see people having those type of issues, I be like, girl, I don't know what I would do if I'm in that situation. Like if I'm my friend exposing my business or, or like even if it's not on the Internet, just telling somebody else my business and you're supposed to be my dog will send me through the roof so you know that's why it's just so hard to make friends in my opinion and everybody like is not weird I don't want y'all to take it the wrong way like everybody is not weird everybody's not jealous of you everybody is not out to get you but women and men especially in their 20s tend to be because we're all still finding ourselves and trying to see where we're going tend to be insecure we you know I'm not going to say we, <laughs> but people tend to be insecure. People tend to, you know, be a little jealous sometimes or envious or, you know what I'm saying? And I just don't have time for that. I don't want that around me. Like, I feel like I dealt with that so much growing up and... In my 20s, I don't want that. I want it to I want everything to be peaceful. Like if it's not peaceful, I don't want to I don't want to deal with it. I don't want nothing hard. I want everything to be soft, smooth, selling, like you know what I'm saying? And you know, I'm not mad at people that become friends for aesthetics or whatever, but that's just not me. Like you know what I'm saying? I don't like I don't really even know how to put it into words, but I don't know. I'm having a hard time making friends. That's all. And especially in the city that I'm in. Because in the city that I'm in. It's the black Hollywood. And with that being said. A lot of motherfuckers is fake. And a lot of people move here. And they not who they say they are. They not who they pretend to be. They come from their, ho their hometowns. And turn into a whole different you know, person, you know, and some like a like a sometimes even a, a worse person. Is that a word? Can I say that? I don't know. A worse person than what they were or like have arterial motives and you just don't know this 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 um generation. All kind of people. Like everybody be having arterial motives. Men and women be trying to use you for, you know, negative things. Cause I'm not everybody uses everybody and everybody want people in their life that's beneficial to them. But you know, when I say use, I'm talking about in a negative way. And I don't know. I'm just I don't know. I'm just not with that shit. I'm just not on the shit that my peers are on a lot of the times. Like, you know, like 
I used to go to the club a lot, like a lot before the pandemic. I was always out, I was always clubbing, I was always drinking, I was always having a good time. But somewhere in that always having a good time, some kind of drama was going on. You feel what I'm saying? And like some kind of weirdness. So I try to not even be in the clubs. And it's kind of hard to cultivate friendships in your 20s. This bitch is outside. This bitch is not trying to, you know what I'm saying? But I don't I don't mind being outside. Let's be outside in another city. Or let's be outside, you know, in another country. I'm not really the friend that know how to plan a trip. I don't I really don't know how to plan a trip. And I really don't know how to gather people together. But I am the friend that you can invite on a trip and I will come. I am that friend and I'm the friend that you can call and cry to. I'm the friend that you could definitely talk about fashion with, like for sure. Or like now I work out, so I'm I could be a workout friend. You could call me to do pretty much anything except for cook and to fight. These days I don't fight. Don't call me on my bed to fight nobody. Not your man. Not your enemy. None of that. Like and the, oh my god, that's another thing. I'm one of those people. Y'all might not like this. But I'm one of those people. I don't like to be cool with people that's cool with people that I'm not cool with. Because all that middleman shit kinda, you know, everybody isn't really mature. A lot of people is isn't mature enough to be cool with another person and then the middle person not get tangled up in all the situations. So I, I try to cut that shit out. Like I try not to be cool with people that's cool with people that I don't fuck with. I'm not even gonna lie. Like if you fucking with somebody I don't fuck with, man or woman, I don't wanna fuck with you because I know that shit could end out bad and that's just from the shit that I've experienced throughout like because I've experienced a lot of bullshit with making friends and not making friends. So just people period in the city that I'm from and I just don't want to come to a, I don't want to be in a new city or in a new place on bullshit like I don't but I've been living here what about four years now and I really could say like I made two friends and I love my friends so much that I made here they're so sweet shout out to y'all I love y'all so much but like I said people are having kids are getting married people are doing things and then people are moving back to their hometowns like a lot of people are moving like you know the, the two little friends that I did make they just on different shit and that makes me kind of sad because sometimes I be want to go get brunch and you know not be by myself even though I love eating by myself I love doing everything by myself Y'all gonna see me by myself a lot because I really do like doing stuff by myself because I did grow up on the child so I don't mind being by myself but like sometimes I do want to interact with other people it is good to interact with other people it is good to have a community of people you know men and women and family and people around you that love you and care about you especially people in your age bracket that you could grow together with that you could build together with that you could really have a solid foundation with you know what I'm saying and I just look at a lot of people like my cousins and stuff like that they have that and I just I don't have that here because I have that I have that I have friends that love me that care about me that cherish me that I benefit from and vice versa that I've learned stuff from older and younger and stuff like that they're just not here with me in this city and I want to get that in this city and it's just hard making friends and I don't I'm not against making friends off Instagram but I do find it hard to make a friend or um, meet a guy or like date a guy. Like, I'm not dating right now. I'm like that, like, like trying to date a guy. But I'm just saying, like, it's hard to find. You know, I just find it strange. I'm not against it, but I just find it a little strange to make a friend or date a guy off that you meet off the internet. Like, you know, nothing is wrong with it, but it's just I haven't done it yet, so I don't really want to do it if that makes sense i kind of want to meet people genuinely i want to meet people off the internet you know what i'm saying and you know all it is really is just to do it to walk up to somebody and be like oh like what you have on and blah 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 exchange info and stuff like that it's really that easy it's really that simple because 
you know, people do it. Like, people have done it to me. Like, and you know what I'm saying? People do try to, women try to link me a lot. And I be kind of skeptical. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Like, I don't be judging them or anything. I just be scared just from my own past experiences and stuff like that. Like, nothing don't be wrong with the people that be trying to link me. It's, it's me. I be like, you know, I'm just nervous. You know what I'm saying? And... I don't know. I feel like in the new year, this is the end of the year. So I'm not going to really do that. I'm gonna just, I'm not going to really dive in or try to, try to cultivate any friendships right now. But in the beginning of the year, like next year I am, I'm going to, you know, take people up on their offers when it comes to hanging out or going out. I'm going to, you know, accept invitations and really show up and, you know, text people back and stuff like that. Um, in the in the beginning of the, in the beginning of the year in the new year like that is on my short term goal is to you know make friends make associates you know try to interact with other people you know step out of your comfort zone when it comes to making friends and stuff like that like I, I I'm really gonna practice that next year because they are they do have good people out here they there are good people out here in this world and I just need to put myself out there and try to meet them you know what I'm saying. Try to meet other content creators and other people, you know, girls that go to the gym or just like the things that I like to do and stuff like that. They have girls out here. I, I see it all the time, but I just haven't put myself out there and I'm definitely going to put myself out there. So if y'all see me hanging with people, don't be like, oh, she hanging with anybody. Because yes, I am. That's how you make friends. I'm hanging with anybody. And these anybody might turn into somebody and an important somebody in my life you just never know and I'm gonna be more friendly where I'm from you know it's not a good thing where I'm from like if somebody call you friendly that's dead ass an insult where I'm from but I don't mind you know being friendly I'm gonna be friendly I'm gonna be open you know I'm gonna say some affirmations and talk to God about it and talk to the universe about it and just be more forthcoming and be more open, you know what I'm saying? And just not be so scared and just put myself out there when it comes to friendships, you know what I'm saying? So, that's just really all I had to say. I just had to get that off my chest and just talk about it. And y'all let me know how y'all feel. Y'all let me know what y'all think. You know, I'm, I'm really open to making new friends and... You know, I be seeing people having Galentine's Day and um, over ho the little Halloween, holiday, October, whatever. Girls was having like spooky night and spooky parties with their friends and wearing pajamas. And, you know, Christmas is about to come around and people are going to have like, you know, pajama parties with their friends and stuff like that. And it's always, you know, I'm going to do those things with my family. Like, my family is always going to come first. I'm going to always have the relationship with my mom and my sisters. But there are people that do multiple things. They'll do some with their significant other. They'll do some with their family. And they'll do some with their friends. And I want to be like that. I want to be able to do something with everybody in my life, whether it's separately or together. And just looking at that, I was like, you know, I really do want that. I want to be able to host a pajama party for New Year's or have like a birthday trip and invite girls and they really show up and show out and come for me. You know, I want that community. Um, you know, a lot of people and a lot of women probably shy away from even saying that, but I want good people in my life that, you know, people should want to be around other people. People should want to be social and like I want it to be genuine, want it to be real and want it to be loving because I'm genuine, I'm real and I know I'm like a great person, a great friend. I'm not perfect and I am actively, definitely working on myself to be an even better person you know but yeah I do want friends you know that live in Atlanta I do want to be around like minded women that's on what I'm on that like the same things I like and I'm okay with that and in the new year I'm gonna actively not look for but attract it I'm gonna I'm gonna attract positive beautiful sweet loyal genuine women and 
Yeah, that's it. That's all I had to show with y'all. But I have 36 seconds on this mask. So I'm about to take this mask off my face and I'm about to get ready for bed. And for bed, I just wanted to chit chat with y'all and just tell y'all what was on my mind and vent to y'all and, you know, see what y'all think about it and let y'all have y'all opinions and comments and stuff like that. So that's all. Good night. And. Maybe I'll see y'all to ah! My camera always trying to fall on me. Maybe I'll see y'all tomorrow. I don't know. I don't know. Or the day after. But you'll definitely be seeing me again. So, good night. Bye. Ooh, my tea looks so light. Mm, let me get this power shot. All right, good night. Bye. I'm so excited. Yeah. Y'all want it behind it, right? Yeah. Stay still. You see how close hers is? What side do you want to do first? Um, this side. That side? Okay. All right. Small for a few minutes. Okay? Wait till y'all get real piercings. I thought it was supposed to be a little pinch. It was, girl. Don't act I like that, cause you're gonna scare me. Hard. Yeah, I'm sorry. You wanna, y'all wanna, you wanna look at it first, or? It looks so cute. You look so cute. On to the next. I'll do the next question, man. You make me want the pink. <laughs> I ain't gonna get the pink dog too. Hold on, hey. Oh my god. Put your phone down so you can get right there and do the next one. Ready? Yes. Kendall. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I hope it hurt me. I want to feel something exciting. It looks really cute, Kendall. <laughs> Cute. It you looks look even in everything, sis? Yes, it looks okay. so good. Okay. Right. Kendall, we're so proud of you. It's done, girl. Get up. Well, I just gotta clean you all. I gotta clean oh, you. sit down. I am so ready. <laughs> I've been dying to do something this fun. Thank you. Kendall, let me see your ears again. <laughs> Focus, camera. Okay, Layla. Layla, you're ready. 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 Layla, you're don't you want a shit girl a freak like me? Don't you? I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Okay. Be prepared. <gasps> I mean, you had worse. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. That is perfect. Mark the other side. Okay, Malay, Malay, Malay. Mm. I gotta clean you up, okay? Okay. Look how good they look. So pretty, girl. So pretty.